In this video, you can see how I implemented AUB. AUB means auto exposure bracketing. The Mavic Mini does not support AUB in the SDK, so I did it myself. I use a great central dispatch method to handle the different exposures. The gimbal and yaw movings are handled the same way. The advantage to handle AEB with software is that I can choose EV settings, one or two EV difference between each photo. Actually, the Mavic Mini does not support raw shooting. So in the actual build, I use JPEG. Now let's accelerate the rest of the shooting. The Mavic Mini uses a software switch mode. So you have to be in P for program mode to use the panorama mission. You can see the software buttons next to the map, S, P and T. I will show that later. This shooting was made after sunset. So we can see the lights on the street. And that's one of the big advantage to use AAB mode. You can get much more dynamic in low light conditions like this. For an AEB panorama, you have to be in manual mode for the shooting. You can see the red button up to the screen. It's on AM. How we can use AEB when the aircraft is landed. I implemented this function on the remote shutter button. Do not use the screen button for this function. For the Zenit shots, it's important that we have access from the ground to the AEB mode. Here you can see the switch in my program. And then if we press the remote shutter button, you can see that we get an AEB image. So I repeat. It's important to use the remote shutter button, not the display button. Now let's see how we can do AEB Zenit shots from the ground. The aircraft has to stand still for the different exposures. With this method, you can also do 360 indoor. For the 60 degrees, you have to turn the aircraft in each direction, north, south, west, and for the final shot at plus 90 degrees. You can see in my other videos how you can use the display to align the aircraft. Now let's come back to the remote switch. It's software, so I have this button. And you can see how we can change between GPS, Sport and Tripod mode. At the end, we get our AEB images and we can tone map them and stitch it together. I use Photomatix Pro for the tone mapping. For the stitching, we can use PTGUI or Color Auto Pano Giga. Actually, we are testing the software and it will be in the store in a few days. I will implement my software AEB for other aircrafts in the future. Thanks for watching, until the next time.